Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Sketch Sunday. And this week's sketch was chosen by the lovely Sharon and it's a page maps sketch that you can see up in the corner where I always put it. And I am using one of my Build-A-Page uh, page kits that I put together with you sort of last week and I mentioned that we'd be doing Build-A-Page through November and into December with these page kits where basically I went back and took a lot of leftovers from some of the other page kits that I had done, put things together and sort of redid some page kits. And I have this one here, which um, I had put together a couple of builder pages ago. Um, and I thought this would be a fun one to do with this sketch because, again, this sketch, I love these sketches that allow for the pattern paper to be almost a focus embellishment. So I had these, but if you can see, there are some strips and, you know, squares or rectangles of pattern paper. So I needed a little bit more because now that I look at it, I'm really not sure uh, about this it might be a little too much on the mustardy side so I'm not sure so I went back into one of my Den Hatfield paper pads that these papers uh, came from and lo and behold I found that I had another full sheet of this gorgeous gorgeous green paper so we are going to use that and I think I will likely use this lovely green um, for the large rectangle because of the photo that I have. This is a photo that's going to go into Erica's album and it's uh, from her trip last summer. And I was thinking I might want to map the photo in that green, but I think it's it, it really needs brightening up. So I think I'm going to go towards this gorgeous orange yeah to mat the photo so I'm thinking this is from the Bella, Bella Boulevard besties and it's basically just orange and I'm thinking this would be the sort of journaling piece on the side with a little notebook notebook edge the lovely green paper as the large rectangle in the back and then this gorgeous floral with the lemons and oranges will be that strip that sort of goes down the middle. So that is my first idea with that. Now, the only embellishment that I had with that is this little tag. So we'll see that might sort of go on there to, oh my goodness me, there's even a little, oh, there's a little shop out here, there. Oh my goodness me. Um, Oh, that sort of discombobulated me for a second there, my friends. Um, so I might use that for some journaling. Then I brought out some of my Nicole Jones 911 viewfinders because there's quite a large circular element on there. So we'll see to add that. Um, and I think I like the paler yellow. And then... I'm not sure whether I would use this green or this one. I think we'll put, I think I'm just going to keep that there for now and we'll just see as the embellishing goes on. And then let's have a look here and see what I can add from my lovely dish here. And just peeking right at me there is this bramble fox bit that says bliss that could definitely be the title because I'm pretty sure both that view that holiday um, were exactly that bliss so I have that then would we like to use maybe this little leaf let's put it there uh, perhaps a camera and maybe a couple of, oh, there's a yellow star here. Would I like to pop that in there? Let's maybe put that there. 
a couple of tabs here so that we could use a little bit of that as well. Uh, this heart, these are from Nico Jones 911. Uh, might have a couple of flare pieces. And I think I need to go and switch some of these out. This is more, yeah, that's definitely uh, almost turquoise. So I'll put that back, but we might want to use that flare. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's a nice little orange star as well. Picture perfect. That would go in there. There's another little orange star here. And then maybe use a couple of white ones. There we go. We have two larger. Yeah, there we go. So that would sort of give us five stars, a title piece. A flare piece here. Um, then is there anything else in here? Cute. So that may be too mustardy as well. I think it might be. I want any florals. Oh, there's a white floral here. Don't want any of the pinks in here. Have a look. No, need some. This sort of grazy color. Okay, do I want maybe a white floral? I'm not sure. Maybe. You know what? I'm going to leave it in this lovely little dish um, that I like to use for individual layouts. Let's see what else do we have here. These are in the pink, so there you go. Okay, my friends, so I think we have a good start here. So I've got some bramble fox bits. I do have one flare, and I might go into my stash um, and see if I can find some perhaps more into the greens or orange colors. We'll see. So let me go off and get the bases of this done. So get the, the first layers of pattern paper down. My photo, I'm using one instead of two. Uh, get my photo matted and we'll come back and work on this together, my friends. See you in a second. Okay, my friends, so there I've got the basics down, the three sort of larger pattern papers, and exactly as I told you I was going to, this lovely green and gold foil, the floral and fruits, and the Bella Boulevard besties. So, and as I mentioned, I only have the one photo, so it will go here, the placement being the same as in the sketch, but of course taking up a little less real estate. Although I'm not sure, I might move it over a little bit because I'm thinking I want Bliss to be part of the title. Um, and then we'll just have to see. My, I was thinking we could maybe put this here, but it, it really hides more of the photo than I wanted to, although on the sketch it's sort of underneath where we would do something like this and then put bliss here. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure at the moment. So I'm sort of going to pull it because then I was thinking, you see, I might want to put the title here and then sort of this picture perfect would go well. So I'm not quite sure, my friends. Let's just sort of tack it down a little bit, sort of there, and then we'll see as we go, because I think, let's sort of put it here. For now, I think we can sort of put it there. Now, if you look at the sketch, there is a strip on the top 
but I don't really sort of like that little space that's there. So I'm thinking I'm going to bring in this golden yellow and pop it through here. That is what we, that I definitely do like. So let me just pop it there. down here I think and then just have it poking out and then you see on this side I want it to come over into the orange I think or do I want it here? no I definitely want to bring it over into the orange and then we'll just see how bit more than that there we go and is that pretty much lined up bring it up just a touch there we go okay I think I do like that the way it is now you see if I'm looking up here I I went into that lovely scrap bowl on my desk and I have a few I picked up a few extra bits and pieces. Now I have this journaling. Now I'm not going to do any journaling on this layout because it's going into Erica's album. So I could sort of put something here like that for her to journal on, but we'll, we'll see. Now I think I like this lovely leaf and then I have these two fussy cut items from this same collection that might be nice we'll see whether this leafy bit could be useful what do we have here today today was the best maybe and just a leaf here i also have these two tags and i think i like them up here I do. I like them right there. So that I think is where I want the photo then. So that will give me the latitude. So let's get the photo down more sort of. Go. Let's bring this sort of like that. I want that over there like that. I think I do. Okay. Now we need to get these down more, of course. There we go. Okay, so I do have some twine in here and I need to get some probably afterwards for there. Now, I'm, I'm sort of moving away from the sketch here, but I do, I do like this. So I think I kind of like this leaf here. We could put this down here. Uh, let's see, would I maybe want something like that here? Or over here like that? Or would we put it this way? That could be nice, but then we need to get some extra bits in there, don't we? If I want something like that. Hmm. I'm not sure, my friends. I'm not sure. I think I do like 
this leafy bit here. I definitely want this as my title. Did I put it here? Let's see. Or do we bring in... Ah, then I might put... How about if we did orange here? I think that might... What would I bring that? Ah, there we go. I think I might like that. And then would I put the bliss here? So that the title is the way it is in the sketch. Okay, I think that's a possibility. I think that's a possibility because the other idea I had is to put bliss here. Picture perfect here, star there, something like that would fill up that entire area, but then it leaves this sort of a little bit as an awkward space, doesn't it? But I do kind of like that. Now, it's different than in the sketch for sure, but I do kind of like that. Um, okay. So then would we put this here? I could put, we pop this maybe here together with, yeah, no. Hmm, I am not sure at all, my friend. Ah, now let's see, what if we added, no, 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 no. that, bring that here, and then pop that in there and sort of put our picture perfect here. There, though I really really do okay so you know what we're going to do we are going to do that then I am going to bring this here I do like that okay so let's just do it and then we'll worry about this little area afterwards but let's get this down because I do like it so let's do that together and, you know, we always say this, sketches are jumping off points. You don't need to follow them exactly. So, in this case, I definitely sort of got my pattern papers down the way they are in the sketch. And then, because I only have the one photo, I'm sort of going off in a little bit of a different direction. Let's Put our bliss right there. There we go. Now, I also have this camera that I might want to bring in. We have the stars. I have this flare. And then I have this, these fun little wood buttons as well, which are lemons. So let's do one here this way and bring another one. These are from Shadme. So I think these might be nice. Okay, so we have those down. Now, I guess the thing is 
but I want a star up here. No, you see, I don't like the white close to the yellow, so it definitely, the orange, and I find the orange, because it's a little translucent, it loses its appeal there, so we're going to bring that back up here for now. All right, so let's bring one of the white stars there and perhaps a camera button there. How about if we did that? Oh, there we go. You see, I think I quite like that. All right, let's do that. Okay, just having fun. Oh my goodness, my friends, how is it already December? I This year, I really feel as though I'm behind, but... I'm behind because I just find that the time, everything just went so fast. I don't quite know how we made it to this already. I'm, I'm still somewhere in early, <laughs> early fall in my head, my friends. Okay, there we go. All right, so I do like that. Okay, so we do have that up there. Let's. Put this lovely leaf in here. There we go. I'm going to put a couple, uh, I'm going to put this maybe on pop dots. how this fits. There we go. All right. Let's pop that there. Okay, there we go, and then oh, maybe one of the little orange stars there. I love these, but they don't seem to be standing out unless I put one there. So I'm not sure. Maybe this here life is sweet. That might be cute there, or sort of just bring it in here. Or pop it under here. And pop something there. Or am I just worrying too much about this sort of empty space because maybe if I leave it big enough it won't look as empty because I could pop that there but then it, this really does look as though it is sort of trapped space so you know what I think we're I think I'm overthinking it I think we're going to leave it like that I am going to put that lovely little orange heart right there. Right 
there. I do like it there. There we go. Do I need to pop this somewhere? Would it look good there? No. How about over here? It's not needed. Ah, how about there? Oh, maybe there. That. Oh, there you go. Oh, I kind of like that. It sort of finishes that off. I want another white star here or up here. Maybe there. Ah, there we go. Okay, my friends, there we go. I like that. Okay, so let's do that. And I'll use the one that's got a little bit of green in it. Okay, let's make sure I do that right way up. There we go. Put this down here. I do like that. Right there. And then you see in the end, if Erica does want to do a little bit of journaling, she has the space right there. I'll need to pop in some twine there. I didn't pop that down. There we go. Put that in the middle. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay, my friends. So I think I think I like this. So I've I've sort of deviated a little bit away from the sketch, but I think you can definitely still see it. The basic papers are there. I have the little circular element that is in the sketch with a little bit of a cluster here. Um, because I only have the one photo, this is definitely an additional item, as are the tags that are there. So I just need to get a little um, bit of twine to pop in there, and you'll see that in the photos over on Instagram, or if I can remember, I'll pop one at the end here. But that, my friends, is this week's Sketch Sunday with one of the Build-A-Page kits. Please make sure you pop on down below and see what all my friends have for you today. And I will see you back here very, very soon. Bye for now.